Hello viewers and welcome back to episode 18 of Saving South End. We've got two games of the season left. We start against fifth placed Port Vale. If we win today and Cheltenham lose, we are in the driving seat. If we lose and Cheltenham win, we're out of it. We're done. If we draw and Cheltenham win, we're still in it. It comes down to the final game. There's many things that can happen here. To show the boys some support as well, I've also gone and bought this. That's right, as you can see, I've gone and bought the Away South End shirt. What a, what a lovely shirt it is as well, viewers, just so you can see that. Look at the pattern on that. I'm hoping me wearing that on the sidelines will show these boys that we mean business. Let's roll this intro, viewers, and get straight into these two, one, potentially two, crucial end of the season games. Here we are then, viewers. The starting eleven is Mark Oxley in goal, a back four of Neufville. Lennon comes in for the suspended corner. Younger in the centre alongside him. Sutton at right back instead of Oyugoki, who is rested today. And there is no point in playing a tired fullback who could be turned inside out by their wingers. McEachern in that defensive midfield. Walker and Dieng in the centre. Bob is on the left, Connor Stanley on the right as Nathaniel George is also tired today and Damani Mellett starts up, for, up top for the misfiring Stefan Payne. Here we are then, walking out at Roots Hall for the final time this season. Everything is down to this. First how it goes to us, Josh McEachern into Walker, who loses it, but McEachern gets it back. Neufeld now into Lennon. McEachern again, Dieng, Neufeld. Can he whip a ball in? He can't. It's just defended well by the Port Vale fullback, who come forward and launch a counter-attack now. Whip the ball over to the right-hand side. Uh, can we defend this? They play it backwards, which is good to see. We're making them go the wrong way. Long ball over the top and Sutton heads it away comfortably into Stanley. Why? Why play that ball, so Stanley? Why do that? He's won the ball back anyway after the dispossession and intercepting the ball. Out over to that left-hand side. Long ball to Oscar Bob, who's one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. Can he flash it into goal? He can. Oscar Bob at the near post. I thought he was going to go the far post. And Oscar Bob makes it 1-0 to us here after just five minutes. I mean, I'm tempt I'll be honest, I'm tempted to just go very defensive and shut up shop for the next 85 minutes if it means we pick up those three points. Bob with a good goal there. One on one with the goalkeeper and his 12th of the season. What is the table looking like at the moment? And we go back into those playoff places. Same goal difference, same point as Cheltenham. Sutton into Stanley now. Can he get a ball in? He can't. Sutton does serve from the defended ball. And Port Vale come forward down this centre now. And they just get into the right-hand side now. A little bit poor defensively from us. Good challenge by Neufeld. Fortunately, it isn't clear and goes straight back to the Port Vale player. Just playing it around themselves. Can we defend? And Walker, he's giving away a penalty again. Oh, my word. Another penalty. Ethan Ross saved the last one. Can Mark Oxley save this one? He doesn't. Oh, my God. Mark Cullen scores. It's 1-1 one, one after 12 minutes. Another penalty. What are we thinking? Oh, my word. Connor Stanley brings it forward on this right-hand side. It's defended and gone out for our throw-in now. Port Vale could... Oh, and Port Vale go down to 10 men. Nathan Smith is sent off. I didn't think there was anything in that challenge, but Port Vale gone down to 10 men. Now it's our time. Encourage the boys. Set the mentality to positive. Try and overload Port Vale as they go defensive. Oh, my word. If we mess this up from a man up as well, we need to... We don't deserve the playoffs if we mess this up, viewers. Nothing has happened since the red card, though. In at half time. It's time. Tell the boys we've been the better team. We've got the faith. Try to get those fists pumping. It's this next 45 minutes. Everything comes down at the moment to this next 45 minutes. Goal kick for Port Vale. Launched down into who picked up easily by Neufeld now on our left-hand side. Comes forward. Can he whip the ball in? And it's not beaten. Port Vale's defender who clears it. And launches it forward into Mark Cullen now. Playing it back into their midfield. Another one ball over the top dealt with. Harry Lennon into Dieng now. Finds 
Connor Stanley on the in miles of space on this right hand side tries to turn in on himself and just can't and loses the ball. And David Amu now launches the ball forward. Sutton, it's a nervy, nervy game view, as you can tell. Bob picks it up into Connor Stanley. Oh, he's hit the post. He should have took a touch. He's tried it first time. And he should have taken a touch as Cheltenham have gone 1-0 up at Wimbledon. Of all the teams to have gone 1-0 up at, it's against Wimbledon who are already promoted. And there's four points in it at the moment. We We need a goal here. We need a goal. We're going to go very attacking. McCracken comes off. We're going to go unprecedented here, viewers. Two up top. Stefan Payne. Dieng comes off for Pablo Moreno, who comes on in the attacking midfield role. He's not very good at it, but I don't care. We need to go bodies forward here. Instructions. Shoot on site. Eight minutes to go. Cheltenham have gone 2 0 up. Two minutes. We've done it. We've lost. We've absolutely bottled it. The playoffs are done. The playoffs are done. And there we are, viewers. One game to go. Four points out of the playoffs. We've bottled it. We've absolutely bottled it. And we're confined to a third season in League Two. Well, what can we say, viewers? Too many draws. Too many draws. Silly losses have cost us big time this season. It's another big summer ahead. We need... I'm absolutely gutted. We need to sort this team out so we can hold on to Leeds. That is what we need to do. We'll play through the last game. We'll have a quick squad review tomorrow. And if you join me again on Monday, we'll go through and have a big summer special. Have a look what we've done and have a look how we are going to attack League 2 for the third season running. If you have enjoyed that video, viewers, please don't forget to smash that like button for me. Share the video around. Leave a comment below how you think we're going to get on next season. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Don't forget to turn your little notification bell on. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again for more next time.